Let's make you a quick bee. You're gonna need a white five inch round, blown up to about an orange size. I like to do brown, works well with black, but a hands width. You're gonna need a yellow with about a hands width tail and a white, and I've left about a finger's width. So let's go ahead and get started. Take your five inch round, split that in half. Just a bit, set that off to the side. Take your brown, making it hands width. This is very similar to the fish I did, which is over there. Small bubble, spacer bubble, followed by another small bubble. Without a pinch, and a loop. Let off to the side. Take your yellow, do the same thing. Hand width. Hinge twist, spacer bubble, hand width, line these up, so they're going to fit together like that with the pinch twists on opposite sides. Start with brown, feed it in. Put your eyes in. Pull that tight. Take your yellow. Making sure your pinch twists are on opposite sides. And you're going to be alternating it. Uh, simple as that. You've got a little bit of a stinger left. Cool thing about this design. Don't need that. Get rid of that. So far, so good. Take your white. Time it, the ends together. Now, if you're blowing this up and if you're in a hurry, you can tie, you don't even have to tie that first knot. You can tie them end to end. Find your midpoint. Boom. This tall one here. Wedging that underneath. Voila. Now, let's do the eyes. Don't take long. There you go. That's the bee. Now, if you're going to put it onto a Candy cup like this guy here. I'll be doing up a flower and mounting it underneath. Just right under that point right there. Looks fabulous. Real quick, real easy, but super effective. Let me know what you think.